pretty dreary day today, but in the next three or four hours, we are supposed to get some rain. It's actually already sprinkling on me right now, but I have a little bit of a window here to get out and mow the lawn. And then I'm going to make an application of double dark just because that bag's already opened. I'm not going to dip into my green tracks bag just yet because that's still a brand new bag. What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. The lawn's actually taken off in the last couple of weeks responding to this heat that we've been getting. And we haven't had a ton of rain, but the rain's been spaced out enough to where I haven't had to run the sprinklers except that one time. And that's after I put out that insecticide in last week's video. And the one granular application that I have put out, or the one granular fertilizer application that I have put out, is the flagship from Yard Mastery. I had about 10 pounds left in a bag and I applied that at this point probably about five weeks ago. My lawn is roughly 4,000 square feet, so it is due time to go ahead and put out another granular furt application, and I figured this rain event that we're supposed to have, or at least that we're forecasted to have, fingers crossed, would be the perfect time. So today we're just going to mow the lawn and then throw her down.
Well, you probably noticed there that I trimmed, edged, and mowed, but here is the final product here in the front lawn. And we're actually striping up pretty nice, especially considering we don't have any sun. And pretty nice deep, dark green color. Let me show you here. A little close up of the cut. And I'll walk you over here to the side yard and show you the backyard as well. But overall, pretty pleased with where the yard is at right now, especially only making one fertilizer application, and it was a pretty small one. And then the grub application from last week. You can see that we do have what I assume is just because we haven't been getting much rain. These areas, it's the same areas every single year that always dry out a little faster over here in the corner is one as well. But it did green up significantly after I watered in that insecticide earlier in the week. And now let's switch to the backyard. And here's a shot of the backyard. Just went with single stripes today. And the backyard is growing like crazy. If I collected clippings back here, I could probably get an entire catcher just because it grows so much faster compared to the front. Most likely just because we don't have any trees back here, it's more wide open spaces. And I actually enjoy mowing back here more than I do in the front just because it's unobstructed. I do wish that we didn't have as much of a grade as we do. It does help with drainage and stuff. Obviously after it rains, I could probably mow a few hours later but it does make it a little tougher to play and, and to mow. But overall, backyard's looking good and I'm pleased with it. And here is the fertilizer that we're gonna use today. It is Double Dark by Yard Mastery, a 1600 analysis, and it contains 6% iron. So if it works, it should give our yard that deep dark green color that you're always chasing with iron. The spreader settings says we wanna go three pounds per thousand square feet in the lawn which for me would mean that I'm gonna put out 12 pounds of product. I think I'll probably go more around seven or eight pounds of product just because I like kind of spoon feeding, giving smaller applications more regularly, just because sometimes I just wanna go out and put out some fertilizer. And if I put out full rate, I wouldn't have to do that nearly as often. So I'll probably go somewhere between six, so half rate to eight pounds and see what kind of response we get with that. Here is the Double Dark in the Hopper. Kind of has the Dippin' Dots vibes to it. Much like that entire Yard Mastery fertilizer line. You can see all that iron in there. And I went ahead and went with eight pounds. The actual granules themselves are a little bit bigger, so we're not going to get as good of coverage as we would if we had that smaller prill size. But I'm going to turn... Actually, I'm going to keep my dial on a four. If it comes out too quickly, I'll drop it down a little bit. And we'll go from there. And that's all she wrote on the application. You can see looking at the road, it's been drizzling a little bit, a very little bit, but right now it's just kind of windy. I looked at the forecast, they've actually pushed back when they think it's gonna hit us. And I just hope it still hits us. We've been burned a lot here in New Braunfels thinking we're gonna get rain and it misses us. They say we have a bubble over us here and I'm kind of starting to believe it. But if it doesn't rain, I'll have to turn on the irrigation here in the next couple of days. I did get the leaf blower out and I blew all the prills that made it on the sidewalk and the driveway, blew them back in the lawn. You want to make sure you always do that whenever you're making a granular application. And for those of you that are interested, I did have to bump up my dial setting from a four to a five just because it was coming out a hair too slowly and I wanted to pick that up a little bit. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a like. If you're enjoying the content, you want to continue to see more of it, hit that black subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see you all again soon. Lawn Insider out.